everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can see i'm in a different location we are in our new house and this is the guest room slash my stuff so i actually have we didn't have a guest room in our old house we just had we turned the last room into my office but this house has an office so i'm able to like have a guest room and decorate it and stuff so i went ahead and put my bags in here i've got this shelf there and then I've got another one over here so they're still here and then yeah and then like my Balenciagas and stuff are in the closet so anyway, I just wanted to explain that like where I'm at anyway um I thought I would just come on here and make a quick video that I said I was gonna make a while ago but just stuff got in the way um about my experience selling to Fashion File so it's gonna be pretty quick because there wasn't a lot to it it was so super easy and I definitely recommend it if you get a good quote. So I sold my mulberry. Yes, I did. Um, I really loved, love, loved the color. It was a deep amber, so it was mustard and it was absolutely stunning. Um, I loved the color and I loved the leather. I did have some reasons I didn't like it. I talked about it in another video, so I don't wanna go deep into it, but um, I tried to sell it on Instagram and it was the first time I just couldn't successfully sell it and I wasn't willing to take like a giant cut on it because it was brand new. Um, I did get it from the Mulberry outlet so like in New York I was able to call and um, I purchased it they sent pictures all stuff but anyway so I couldn't return because they don't do returns. So once I couldn't sell it, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like my first major like buying regret and there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah, it was not fun. So um, I sent a quote to Fashion File and they came back pretty good. I think I lost $150 on it, which didn't make me happy. But the fact that I was able to like get money back altogether. I was more happy with that than happy to keep something that I knew I wasn't gonna use. And yeah, so what you do is you just go on their site and you go to sell, you upload like a ton of pictures. I feel like it's probably the more pictures, the better. Um, you add a description and then you just send it within, you know, sometimes it's really, really quick. Other times it's like days. One time it took a, a week um, and then they send you back a quote and their quote is buy out where they just pay you if they don't do consignment i don't believe they do um but they will send you a buyout offer and if you take store credit you get 10 percent more so i actually took store credit because it was more um but okay so i have sent stuff to them all the time just for fun like i've gotten new stuff and it, i never plan on selling like to them like um so just an example whenever i first got what was it that I got? I first got a backpack, my black one. I never had it, like I didn't even think about selling it, like no way. But I was curious like what they pay for something that's brand new. And their price is so low. That's why when I, when I say sell to them only if you get a good quote. So that was so freaking low. I was like, are you kidding me? I don't want to sell it, but like knowing how much they turn around and sell them for is ridiculous. Um, my mini pochettes. Um, I had, I, I thought it would be fun to send it in a long time ago, right when I first got it, to see what they offer for them because I knew they sell them for way over, um, way, way over retail. So they cost what, 350 new? And I sent pictures of it brand new, just seeing what I would get because they were selling them for $1,000. They lowballed me. So they offered me, I think it was like 150. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This thing is brand new. And so someone was like, you know, if they give you a low offer, you should just send it back like a few weeks later and the exact same pictures and see what they offer you then. So I did and they actually offered me more for it. I didn't sell it. I wanted to keep it. But, you know, I was just, you know, curious. So, yeah, like they do that. I also resent the Mulberry one in before I accepted their offer and they came back with way lower. I mean, way lower. It was crazy. And I've done this with other things. Like I've randomly taken them and I've submitted them just to see what they pay like for shits and giggles and the, 
the prices they come back with are typically like, wow. So when people ask me where I sell if I decide I don't want to keep something, I just do it on Instagram because then it's just direct money. There's no, you don't have to worry about fees and all sorts of other stuff. And it's like fashion file for me to sell to was kind of last minute, whatever. Oh, I thought that was flickering. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it was really easy. I Once I accepted it, they send you a shipping label and you just, you package it, you ship it, you send it. I was able to track it the whole way. And then once they received it, I think I got direct payment because you can also pick if you want to check like how you want to be paid and I just did I think I did um either PayPal or directly into my account I don't remember but it was super quick they received it and I got paid there was no big like turnaround time they didn't take forever to to pay me it was pretty darn easy so if it's like if they're offering you a lot or if it's just like last resort for you, or if you just need quick cash, selling to them is super easy. Like, honestly, it was it was so easy. And you also don't have to worry about uh, selling to somebody and them turning around and like not liking it or dealing with some sort of fraud because like the horror stories right now are just out there. So anyway, I was asked to share, so I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick and tell you just kind of how it works. Super easy, definitely recommend it if you get a good quote. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!